Today I'm joining you from a very sunny Portugal where we've just finished an incredible project for our clients. We've been installing it for the last week, we've been designing it for years and I cannot wait to share it with you. Right now we're in the cinema room at our Portugal project. It's a complete transformation. If you'd seen it before we renovated this space, because it's a lower ground floor, it felt very cold and uninviting. The first thing we did was change all the finishes. Initially, this development was planning on having a porcelain floor down here, which again emphasizes that feeling of coldness. So we changed that to an oak parquet floor and then we added some wallpaper onto the walls, but we've gone for a finish that looks like a real linen, so it feels a lot more inviting, a lot more cozy, and adds a layer of texture. The sofa is a custom design that we designed back in the studio and we had made in the UK. I absolutely love this Oxford border and it's on the seams of all the cushions. It gives a much more relaxed feel than some of the more formal sofas that we use in some of our other projects. We've also gone for an extra deep seat base, so it's perfect for lounging back and watching movies. And what that also means is that you can style it with a lot more cushions because you still have lots of room in front of the cushions to sit down. The client had a very specific request here. Even though it's a corner sofa, she didn't want a corner seat. Um, they wanted an oversized side table, which we've dressed beautifully with some accessories. And their plan was that when they're watching movies, they can sit there and have a huge bowl of popcorn um, to snack on and put all their drinks there. So I think that's worked out really nicely. We've styled this with a tall vase. We wanted some height so that this side doesn't feel too empty. And these faux eucalyptus, my sister's company, Wildwood, work so well because they're the same kind of height as the sofa back and they're adding a nice bit of greenery over here. And this was the client's existing bars, which we love and want to reuse. Her existing oversized plate, which looks so lovely with this little wooden accessory that we've brought. Um, another one of our Addison Russ frames. This is in the moss green, um, which works really nicely with the other colors. And over here, we've just got a smaller faux plant and another bowl. So it doesn't need too much, but it's just nice to fill that space and make it feel beautifully styled. As always, when we're designing a living area, I like to have lots of sofa tables so that all your drinks are within arm's reach. You don't have to lean to the coffee table. It just makes it a lot more enjoyable to use and a lot more relaxing. When you have just a single armchair, I think it's nice to make it a statement armchair. We've done this in a lovely boucle fabric. And then I've dressed that up with one of our Co's um, throws. This is from the new collection that's launching soon. It's a boucle texture as well, so it works really nicely. And then I've combined that with a custom velvet cushion just to add some more luxury and I love that contrast when you're getting different textures of fabrics together it really emphasizes the beauty of each. Because of the layout we also always want to make it sociable I feel like I'm always saying the same thing um, so forgive me if you're a channel regular but if you have a corner sofa it's really important to have a single armchair um, on the other side so that you don't have an empty space and it still works as a sociable area even though this is a cinema room, it can always double up as a normal living room. So you want to make sure that it sort of lends itself to social gatherings. The client's here actually at the moment and she's been giving us feedback on the furniture and this is her favorite piece. We had these custom made. It's got a um, polished plaster, again with a textured finish on the doors with a very thin oak frame. And I love these curves that you've got on the base as well and then some very discreet handles so you don't have to touch the polished plaster. And inside there's some storage with some shelves. We went through quite a few different options on this elevation. We looked at having a sideboard with a piece of art. We looked at consoles, but in the end, the client decided they wanted something with a bit of height to balance the TV over the other side. I think it works so well. Over time, we might add some more accessories. For example, a small wicker basket underneath the unit that you can store the cushions if you want to put the cushions off the sofa. And then, oh, this isn't styled exactly how I want it, so I'm just going to move that. <laughs> um, I've done, again, two clusters here. What you want to do on a unit like this, I wanted to just make the height feel even taller, but I didn't want the units themselves to be taller because they would feel quite overbearing. But you can do that using accessories. We've got a coral at the back, absolutely beautiful piece, with an antique brass base. And then we've done a trio, so we've got a little bowl, brings out the colours in the cushions and we bring some colour onto this side and then again to get the height we've got a vase at the back 
you don't want to have it exactly the same, but they need to sort of relate to each other. So we've got the same bowl, so it's still got the colour and then the small accessory. We've also added a lot of custom joinery throughout this project and obviously the most important thing in a cinema room is the TV screen. The client wants an 85 inch TV, it's absolutely enormous. What we've gone for here is a very simple design. This would be very easy to implement in your own home. So we've worked with a local joiner in Portugal um, who has um, executed our design. We just created this floating drawer unit at the base in a stained oak. And when you're working with contractors overseas, it's really important that you give them control samples and then you check their samples against your control samples to make sure everything's as you expect it to be. And they've absolutely nailed this. I'm really happy with the finish. And then above, this is just some bronze metal trim. And then they've done a polished plaster with a really highly textured finish inside that. So it's, there's nothing that's been added onto the wall other than just the trim and then they've polished on site. Um, but what that does with the dark grey colour, it helps the TV to blend away and it sort of blurs the lines between the TV and this amazing finish. A little behind the scenes for you, um, obviously we arrived yesterday, my team's been here installing all week. When I saw the initial colour that this had come out as, things don't always work out as you expect them to. You obviously do the samples, but it was a very icy, cold grey blue and it just didn't work with the rest of the scheme. So we actually changed this yesterday whilst we're installing and it's managed to dry in time to get the TV up so nothing is as calm as it looks when you see our YouTube channel there's chaos going behind the scenes we are not exempt from that when you're watching this and you're doing your own home renovation and you think how do they get this to like all work perfectly I always say there's always a solution to any problem and it's how you deal with those problems and I have to say I've been so proud of my team this week we've done an installation in London which you would have seen the um, results of in our last previous video um, and although all these videos are spread out I think it's incredible to think that our team have done this all in a week installing a huge townhouse in London and um, we were there until 11 p.m. then we got up at 3 a.m. the next morning flew to Portugal oversaw the installation hung all the art changed the finishes dealt with some other problems that I'm going to tell you about in other rooms and here we are today and I'm just so grateful to my team like none of this would be possible without them and you're only as good as the people that surround you so thank you to all my team if any of you are watching this and you're not sick of the sight of me um, I know a few of them do watch it I just want to say thank you like I could not do this without you Sarah who's been out here all week Vanessa, Brat, Ollie of course and then all the rest of the team members that have been helping with all of our other projects thank you just to talk a bit about how you do an overseas project, so all of these items that you're seeing we have sourced um, from the UK. A couple of pieces, some of our manufacturers have um, manufacturing in Portugal so we're able to get those to deliver straight to site. But generally what we like to do is have everything delivered to our logistics warehouse in the UK. We work with several different companies. On this project we work with Henley Shipping. They then check everything, open it up, help its packaging, make sure it's not damaged. We'll repackage it, store it, it's insured. They then bring it out on trucks um, and they were here for a whole week with my team um, unpackaging everything, putting everything into the room, installing it. Um, and then I always like to fly out and hang the art just to make sure I get it exactly how I want and do the final styling. And um, so that's a little bit of an insight into how you do an overseas project. Welcome to the beautiful hallway at our Portugal project. We've furnished this little area under the staircase with a piece of contemporary art, this absolutely gorgeous B&B Italia chair, which is so comfortable, probably not gonna get back up because it's near the end of the day. Um, I might do the rest of this take here, actually. <laughs> lovely chiseled side table. You have to have a look at that up close, such lovely texture. A little bonsai tree, and I love the modern piece of art as well, which works so well with the chandeliers. Now these chandeliers are from Porsche Romana. Can't tell you how many times we've elevated this, trying to sort of anticipate what will feel right in a 3D space when you're looking at a 2D elevation is always impossible, but we had to get it spot on. And I'm so happy with how it's all panned out because it has to look right, not just from this floor, but also upstairs, which is the staircase that leads to the roof terrace. 
I love how chunky and industrial they feel and they work so well with this existing staircase that we've retained. Behind me, we have designed this freestanding piece of joinery. We wanted it to look like a piece of fitted joinery, so as you walk through the main door, which is just to my right, you've got a space where you can dress all these shelves. Now, I'll let you into a little secret. I was trying to hide this line here, but I'm not gonna hide anything from you. I'm gonna be real. Behind here is something that we had to retain for health and safety. It's all about all the fire exits in the building. But what we're gonna do is have this wallpapered onto a removable section um, so it still passes building regs. Um, we also have another little fire alarm there. And we templated this entire unit to work around all these pieces of um, health and safety and fire alarms. Um, but our plan was that we can dress it with accessories so when this is put up properly we'll have a large photo frame there and that should hide all those ugly things on the wall that we don't want to see. On this side of the entrance hall we wanted to do a mirror, it's always good to have a mirror to check your appearance before you leave. I love how industrial this one feels, again it's got a lot of texture, a lot of metal, it works really well with those Porta Romana lights and I also enjoy the fact that you can see through the frame onto the wallpaper behind. Below that, we've continued with a the theme of textured metal and we've gone for a liquid metal fronted cabinet. This was another custom piece. And we've gone for something that's extra slim because this isn't a very wide entrance hall. I always like to keep the pieces of furniture quite slim. I would say this is about 30 to 35 centimeters deep just enough to dress with a photo frame. This was a beautiful vase that was our client's existing vase and how nicely does that color go with these two colors of the stained oak in this off-white cream and then the bronze color of the metal. It marries those two beautifully and I love the contrast against that of the vase that we brought for the client with these faux eucalyptus. Again, keeping it all in a little cluster on this side and a cluster on this side. Groups of three work really well. Right now we're in the primary bedroom and this client absolutely loves blues and greys so we decided to really embrace that colour palette in their main bedroom and I think the result is such a tranquil space where they can come and relax at the end of a busy day at the beach. We've completely redecorated the space. We have added this wallpaper which looks like a grass cloth but is actually a vinyl. The client's very conscious of wear and tear with it being a holiday home. They didn't want to have delicate finishes on the wall. I think it looks just like the real thing. For the headboard, they wanted an oversized headboard, so we've gone for a panel design in a lovely linen. And again, that lighter colour contrasts nicely against the wall. For the bedside tables, because it's such a long space, we had lots of room for go to go for an extra wide bedside table. And I love the detail on the front of the drawers, how it's almost like a 3D effect. And then the antique brass handles are a nice touch. On the tables themselves, we've got a Porta Romana light, some more faux flowers, this is a tray from our collection with Coes. It's a beautiful marble tray, perfect for putting a little jug and a glass for your water. And then to fill the space on either side of the headboard, we went through quite a few different options of art pieces here, and I'll see if I can dig out some of the old elevations to share those with you. But I'm so happy with what we landed on, which are these amazing ceramic pieces. I'm gonna to touch them very carefully because they are quite fragile. We installed these yesterday, and because each piece has two fixings, the options are unlimited of how you can install these. You can have them at any angle. Um, but we settled on this, and I think it works really nicely. It kind of leads up towards the headboard, fills the space nicely, and they almost look like undulating waves in the sea, so I think they're really appropriate. In this corner, we've got a custom armchair, which is upholstered in a very rustic linen, and it has a bronze metal frame. And next to that, we've put a petrified log. And I think the colors of that work so nicely with all the grays and the cooler tones. Some faux eucalyptus in a lovely vase. And then to style the armchair, we've gone for a custom cushion. Um, I love all these patterns in here. And again, it works really nicely with the artwork. And this is a throw from our Coase collection. It's the cream colored boucle. Again, lots of texture, adding all the interest. One of the main changes that we've done in this bedroom was reposition the TV. Previously, all the wiring was over to the left. We wanted to center it on the bed area. And then we've designed this floating dressing table slash chest of drawers. 
and we went for a floating one because although the room is very long it's not that deep and we didn't want to make the space feel too encroached by making it floating you can still see underneath and it gives a sort of illusion of more space and then we've combined that with a little dressing table stool in two different fabrics we've gone for an icy blue on the outside and an ivory on the inside and these are all performance fabrics so they are hard wearing and stain resistant and then to add a little bit of height we've gone for a tall faux orchid all the plants here are generally faux because this is a holiday home it makes a lot more sense you don't want to be continually replacing them arriving to your holidays only to find lots of dead plants and then we've got a lovely photo frame and another one of the Elmac Martin mirrors the client absolutely loves these mirrors so we've got them in all the bedrooms Okay guys, that's a wrap. I've had so much fun showing you around today. I'm really proud of what my team and I have achieved here in Portugal. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you'd like more regular updates, don't forget you can also follow us on Instagram and TikTok at Sophie Patton Interiors. And if you haven't hit subscribe and you've watched this video, what are you waiting for? Hit subscribe, help us get to 100,000 and make our day. We'll see you very soon.